Bob Hope is with us tonight. He saw three of our pages, you know, in uniforms out in the hall and stopped and did about 12 minutes. <laughs> uh, anytime there's a uniform, Bob does a show. He's actually been home, I understand, for two whole days. Wow. And he's working right across the hall here, taping his Christmas special, which will be on this Sunday. Is it not? That would be December the, the 10th. What can I say about him? Bob Hope. They're all relatives. I, they're, they're, I live right here. You know. That was just for walking out. <laughs> yeah, they're all from down Moore Parkway. <laughs> How are you, John? I'm right? fine. You uh, are in busy right across the hall, are you? Yeah, not? I'm right across the hall because you're in my studio. Will you get out? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this, stu this studio. I open this studio. I come. I can't get in my studio. I'd like number one. No chance. John's coming back. <laughs> well, we would have. No, we would have known. All right, John. So you're so large. Now, you know. <laughs> I gotta work in some toilet or something. No. <laughs> you were here no, many no, years. I, I, I before, shouldn't before, say that because I'm in Red Fox's junkyard right there. Right. <laughs> That's right, uh, Red right tape next, next door. So uh, let's say you know, I, I could put on a little juice, you know, and uh, move this out. Move you or sell my stock, but I figured you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't sell your stock. NBC would collapse tomorrow. I wish I had it. When when the studio was first built, what about 1953 or four? Something around like that. Had to it? be. Had to be about that. Yeah. yeah. You did your first. My first show, show right, right here. I was responsible for these seats here, all the extra seats because they had it up high, you know, and you couldn't get to them. Back it was like the well playing was Yankee it? Stadium. Yeah, that's right back there. This so is a I great said, studio. No, I got to get, I got to get in touch these people and uh, do something with them, you know. So they put the extra stuff in there like that. This is a great studio. Love well, it's it. a beautiful studio. It's really it. No matter what how your monologue plays. <laughs> <laughs> Caught it tonight, huh? Who's well, I your... thought your monologue was good, but that second piece of stuff was off the job. That didn't uh, really seem to take off, did it? <clears throat> <clears throat> Who's and I... you try to save it, don't you? You try to save I... it. How was your nightclub act, huh? Fine. He so did a so. very nice job. You Thank couldn't you. play now because the Supreme Court banned topless. Or <laughs> <laughs> you were due in. You were supposed to be in. The huh? second night I wanted to get in, there. You know? I could never make it. I was in Washington. I said, I got to go and see if Ed's standing up, but I could not. <laughs> I was standing up. I could not get in there. I hear it was great. Did a nice well, Earl Wilson. You got to him, didn't you? He gave you a little stuff. Oh, nice review. Considine. Considine gave me a nice Only interview. Irishman rushed to your aid. Huh? <laughs> it a great, though. Who's on the show? I know Phyllis is on the show. I saw Phyllis her came over. In the she, hall, uh, she, came, she flew over from uh, Phyllis Diller. Las Vegas to be on our show. And she has her new head, which I thought was nice. <laughs> yeah, she has a new facelift. In case she didn't like that, she brought the old one in a bag. <laughs> Isn't she great? Though? She really got a lot of mileage with that, didn't she? Oh, that yeah, operation, and uh, she talks she about it. She... I think she looks different. She looks like Ward now. <laughs> oh. That's her husband, Ward Donovan. Yeah, it's true. I had to rehearse that, and uh, then go back and work with Gloria Loring and a thing, She's and great. run home and put some monologue together because I'm getting my monologue for the, ready for this uh, Sunday show. Right. I've been moving faster than Truman Capote going by the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> 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 The, ac the actors are a little mad at Truman. Did you? If you missed that show, you, we had... I saw it. I saw it. I loved him. Truman Capote was on the show, for those of you who didn't see that show, and he oh. was talking about actors, and he said, all actors, and the better actor they are, he says, they're yeah. dumber they are. Yeah. And, and uh, I loved you sitting there, you know, and he said, how Marlon Brando? Well, Marlon Brando, you know, you, you've seen him in Godfather and everything, but he's not very intelligent. Oh, no. <laughs> then John stepped up. He said, well, what do you think about me? He says, you're a commentator. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I wasn't. I love that. Dude, I, I'm he, just hoping I'd follow him so I could come on and yell, how's the commentator, daddy? He bailed, he bailed out pretty good. You got Gloria Loring on the show. You got Phyllis Diller. And we got Red Fox. You know, Is Red on the show? The millionaire junkman. I think he'll, uh, he'll do very, he's very fine. He's doing Santa Claus with us. And we have the All-America football team. And, uh, Johnny Rogers, you know, your boy. From, from Nebraska. Nebraska. was picked for the Heisman, Heisman trophy. trophy today. And so we're all, we're all set. Ohio <laughs> State had two. They're coming out That's here. That's right. So, get rid of pollution here. See how they can clean up yeah. Southern California. I've, I gotta show them this picture. I know you get this copy. This so is sneaky a, one, then, huh? I know you get this in the mail all the time. This is a, a copy of the famous masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, 
Adoration of the Trinity, which uh, I guess is in Venice, was painted in about year 1511, something like that. <coughs> you receive blow-ups of this particular right. part of this picture all, the time. all of the time. Now, this, this was painted in 1511. Now, I'm going to show you the small blow-up of one part of it. Um, you're going to have to come in close, because the gentleman in the picture looks so much <laughs> like you, it is really <laughs> incredible. I Watch the monitors in the studio. This is not a joke. And I know you get these all the time. Now go in very close on the figure, the man seated in the chair. See if they can, they're going to try to, they're trying to pick it up now. Are they? On a close up. Do you see? Do you see? I'm going to move it back in the light a little bit. Now can you go in even a little closer? On the man seated there. Because it is really incredible. He's just changing the camera lens here to give you a close up. I'm trying to hold this as close as I can. Look at that. Oh. Markham. Were you working at Venice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, were you at Lowe's I Venice knew, or what? I knew, I knew, I you knew, broke in there, you didn't you? I have to say that. No, that. That's in, that's in, uh, that's in the, in the museum in Florence. And when the guide goes through there, he says, he's a, he's a, a Bob Hope of the 15th century here. Wow. And all my friends told me that. And Crosby, there's a postcard, you know, like yeah. this. And Bing uh, sent me this and said, I, I thought so, you know, <laughs> that you have been around and you're all weather comedian. You've been around for a long time. That really is incredible. Isn't that something, though? That's just amazing. I don't know. What, I don't know what's so bad about that. He, he's not <laughs> bad looking <fella. laughs> Crosby actually sent me that card. Mm -hmm. and, and I get it from a lot of people. I've been getting it for years for the people to go and see this. Thing. Have you ever followed your family back, say, any further than your grandfather or your yes, great grandfather? Yes, I hit by a coconut, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I read that, that far back, huh? <laughs> I've gone back there quite a ways, but uh, there was a Lord Hope that uh, disowned me in uh, England. I tried to get into his family. He had nothing to do with there it. There was a Lord Hope? Yeah. I didn't know we that. We got Crosby uh, on ahead of a Sunday. He's doing our warm-up for an hour, and I think... Uh, <laughs> That'll be very, very nice. I'm kind of glad that uh, he's on there. He's really, he's really great, isn't he? And he's got all his family on there. I'm responsible for most of his kids. Did you know that? Oh. That's true. I May am. we have a quick explanation no, I tell you of that? Why. May I tell you? No, every night. When we used to work at Paramount, every night when we'd leave, I'd say, have a good night. <laughs> what the hey? <laughs> How'd I know he was taking me seriously? <laughs> you know how he is. We're going to take a break. You can stay for a few minutes, can't you, I around sure the corner? Because then I know you've got to go back. Think and something to talk about. We'll talk about a few All things, right. what you can do All for right, Christmas. Daddy. We'll have a, a word We're from one of our about. friendly sponsors, then we'll come right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Hertz Rent an Audience. <laughs> I've been explaining. People you know, at home you know, don't know what we're know, talking you know, about. I, you know, I never know, John, when I'm going to do these uh, these shows, you know, I because know. we break them up so much. And uh, this show we're doing, actually, we, we booked this show in the last couple of weeks because I thought I was going to do it from a college back east and it didn't work right. out, you know. So, uh, what I was talking we asked, about. We, we, uh, go ahead. Now, we asked uh, Ed to announce to this audience if they would come over to my show and I'll plot, and plot, plot, and then he took the punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> You look just like the guy in the picture doing that. <laughs> and I should have armor on, too. Yeah. <laughs> where, have you, where have you been besides doing your show? I was, I've, I've been down in New York. I was back in New York filming the all Americans. Then I was down in Palm Springs because we dedicated the Walter Propes building, uh, which is uh, right next to the Eisenhower uh, Medical Center. And Walter Propes gave us over a million dollars. <laughs> and Agnew came out and did the speech. And he was, he was delicious. He really was. And he asked me to play golf. And I played because, you know, I figured we all got to go sometime. <laughs> Is he and getting a little better, is he? He's very happy. Oh, yeah. he's doing much better. He's just hitting Democrats now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's great. And he's very happy because he got as many votes as Nixon. And I think that... Uh... <laughs> hey, how about Nixon? Is that some landslide? That's incredible. I just think what he would have done if he'd campaigned. <laughs> now, this is the greatest victory for the low profile since Burt Reynolds made the Cosmopolitan Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I see now the Democrats want to get rid of, uh, what's the lady's name, Jane Westwood, who's the yeah. Democratic yeah. chairman, and McGovern doesn't want him to do it because he doesn't want to break up a winning combination. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought, Sergeant, no. Folks want to come over after we finish? I'm doing a monologue in the next studio that I think you'll enjoy. 
I think Sergeant Shriver deserves a lot of credit. You know, he got in late and he, he really sure. did, really, and he worked very hard. He really did. You know, you got to feel. And I'll tell you, and it's, he worked hard and it's very understandable because you have to try harder when you're number seven. And I think that, uh. <laughs> He's got to come back you to know, his old job. You know, you can't job. do those post things because the, everybody's wounded a little bit. And you got to be very careful about politics. I feel sorry. I did a joke when I was here. One of the guys wrote, and I said that Shriver was going back to his old job, incumbent millionaire. Yeah. At that time, it was a big, big yeah. joke. <laughs> you, have, you have to have the right audience. Yes, sir. And McGovern, you know, you got to feel sorry for him because he didn't have too much money, you know. In fact, the last day of the campaign, he mugged an Avon lady. <laughs> That's true. The Democratic Party were in such... They were so broke, they hired Clifford Irving as a consultant. Did you know that? I didn't know that. They had a $100 plate dinner. Somebody stole the plates. I have never... <laughs> I got to move quick to get in here, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Say, yes, what, 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 what do we do? Well, we Christmas get? is coming up soon. Now, you've got to be a difficult man to shop for. I do feel a little sorry for uh, Dolores, your wife. Um, how do you shop for her? And how does she shop for, for you? Dolores. Well, I buy her nice things uh, <laughs> overseas and the PX. And uh... <laughs> that's why you make those trips every year. Yeah. Never thought of and that. And you know, you know what she buys <laughs> for me. You know the thing I do about going away with 18 beautiful girls last year. And as a going away Christmas gift, she handed me thermal underwear. <laughs> Just as I get on the plane. Yeah. That's that. Now. But you, <laughs> you, are you making the, the trip this year to, to yeah, Vietnam? Yeah, we're going to go. This is our, this our last trip. I, I hope last year was our last trip to Vietnam, but I'm taking about 15 beautiful gals over there and see if I can't uh, fix it my way. <laughs> Where are you going to play besides Vietnam? You take the whole tour, though, not just Vietnam every year. Yeah, we're only going to do one show in Vietnam, and uh, we're going to play in Thailand, a little island in the Indio Indian Ocean. Uh, Looks like a, right in the middle of 6,000 miles of water, this little island. And there's 800 or 1,000 sea bees built in this base. <coughs> it, I didn't and they realize showed that. me a map of this. It looks like a carbuncle on Mama Cass's <laughs> back. You never saw <laughs> You never saw anything like this. It's just, it's just amazing. Yeah. What do you want I for Christmas? I was trying Christmas? to get into that some way. Yeah. I couldn't find that the right words. Are still. What would somebody stay buy you for Christmas? What would you like that, you know, you can go out and get anything you want? For me, yeah, I'd like uh, about three birdies and, a, and an eagle. On your golf game, what you... I, no, I don't. I don't really care. I, I need socks and a few things. <laughs> I don't. You know, I've got. I got suits. I get all. I get these old Johnny Carson hand-me-downs from uh, Hart Schaffner. And uh, I got. I've got. Uh, what, what would I like? I, I, I don't think uh, I could get a, what I'd like. It comes in two stockings, and I think that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dirty old man. Hey, I thank you. I thank you for coming. I know you got to go back and I tape. Do have and, to uh, back and I just and after the after our and, show, you're right. invited to go back uh, next door. You right. serve beverages or any, any kind say, of food for the I'm audience. I'm going to say hello to you and uh, uh, for you over there. And you know, some John, this will this will be. I'm sure we may get lucky in the way that things are going. We may be there when peace is on. You know, wouldn't that be a thrill? It's going to be a great thing. Let me tell you, I just want to leave you with one line the way I feel about it. You know that you can uh, talk about Kissinger's doing a marvelous job, you know, trying to arrange peace. I don't know whether it's with Vietnam or Jill St. John, but he is really working hard. You know, and you got to give him a lot of credit and the president and everybody else. But when the peace is really signed, you know who gets the credit. The kids in the uniform. Don't forget that. That's that would be incredible what happens. Yes, that could very well happen when he's over there. If things go it's like the way people are going, it would be incredible.